you know, I've spent a lot of time on this channel talking about fighting games and what makes them not as hard as people think and kind of some of the common misconceptions about fighting game difficulty and stuff. What I haven't actually talked about is what makes fighting games hard. I usually sit down and I'm like, look, everybody, you can figure them out, right? That you guys can get in there. Just start like a beginner, like everybody else, and you'll you'll make it, or, you know, just like any game. To talk about what makes them difficult, I think you have to go back a bit and talk about what makes people want to play fighting games, right? And I think the answer is fighting. You're watching Soul Bad Guy do Bandit Bringer and fly across the screen, or you're watching Balrog punch the shit out of somebody. He does final tap and it does like 50% damage. And you're like, that looks fucking sick. You watch a Marvel combo. Marlon Pie is twerking on somebody doing attack infinite with doom. And you're like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. So you see all this fighting happening on the screen and you're like, let me get involved in that. You get into a fighting game and you start to learn that. And I think most people assume sitting down, learning how to do spinning pile drivers and long combos and executionally difficult things they assume that that's the hard part about fighting games the fighting part but i think the unfortunate reality is that the fighting is almost never the thing you're going to spend the most time on learning and is never the hard part to learn literally everything else besides the fighting is really where you'll spend most of your time learning and trying to improve once you learn how to do the stuff with your character you learn how to move around you learn how to do your special moves and stuff you learn all that you realize that to fight somebody, you can't just know how to do special moves. If you know how to throw a punch, you're not going to hit anybody if they're standing across the room. And if you can, you should be a professional MMA fighter because your arms are incredibly lengthy. So you have to go learn the strategy. You have to learn when you should do those moves, why you should do those moves. Is that move even good against this player or this character? Like you wanted to learn this game or this thing because you thought that this move was really cool. But what if that move sucks and now you got to use other moves? It's like such an abstract series of questions and you have to ask yourself this every single game every time you spend like two minutes fighting you have to spend like 10 minutes considering you know like hmm, should i've done that should i've done this is this better is that better you're never really spending time like oh i need to practice like how do i punch someone harder there are execution requirements but it's not going to be the majority of your time <laughs> somebody in the chat says that's like dot 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 every genre though i've made that point before they didn't like that when i made that point i see a lot of people in the chat saying things like no execution does take time to grind for sure yeah you definitely have to spend some time on execution in the same way that in other games there is usually something mechanical that you have to work on for a while to get better at like in a shooter you have to work on your aim and in rocket league you have to work on hitting the ball at a specific part in your car or juggling in a specific way or certain types of saves and like you know there's mechanical requirements in everything that take time those are the things that everybody can practice independently it's like everything else that takes so much time and effort to sit down and just be like oh god it doesn't matter how sick nasty your aim is in an fps game if you don't know where to fucking stand or what angles to hold or what places on the map they can come from. You just get owned. That's how it goes. I know I'll get this reply on YouTube too. And it's like, no, you don't understand. I have to spend thousands of hours grinding to learn this stuff. Nope. It doesn't take you that long to grind out these inputs. I know I did it. I'm aware that it takes time to learn how to do inputs consistently. I remember being new to fighting games and learning how to do quarter circles and practicing them over and over. If you think that that is the majority of the time that you will spend on fighting games, you probably are not good enough or have not hit the point in a fighting game where you must learn other skills yet. And I know that that might sting a little to hear, but that is the truth. And it's not just studying and it's not just the strategy. It's also the mental side of things, it's like spending time thinking, what is my opponent doing? In this situation that just happened here, why did he do this option? Why did he think this option was smart? And once you get good, you realize that the fighting part is you know, so intertwined with everything else. The execution requirements, they are purely mechanical. Everything else is so abstract and really requires measurement and thinking. And your capabilities will determine whether the strategy you've decided is correct or not. If you don't have good execution, you have to change your strategy. If you have fantastic execution, but your strategy is weak, you will suffer. Tons of people who have bad execution have excellent strategy, excellent studying, excellent uh, mental games, and they can win. Viscant is a great Great example of that, where he literally says like, yeah, my execution's not that good. I can't play these complicated teams. I picked this team because it's strong, it's easy to run, and it does the job extremely well. He did a breakdown of how he won Evo and what his team did and why it was good. And it's not like he's doing extremely difficult executional things. In fact, especially at that time, a lot of the things he was doing was very 
basic. I think a lot of the people who are bringing up the fact that execution is hard and it turns people off, I think execution is the part that they can get past. Even when I was a new player, I remember not learning super good combos to start with. I played Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 4 Able, I did roll into command throw. I didn't have the execution to do step kick into heavy punch, which is a one frame link. I didn't know how to do that. So I did step kick into throw, command throw or pressure. And I did other stuff with the character. That was when I was brand new. I didn't know how to do the execution. So my strategy had to change around it, right? Now, yeah, there are some characters where their execution requirements are so drastically higher that it will affect how you strategize. But for the most part, even those kinds of characters have simpler options that you can do and you can use the same kind of ideal and, and make the game plan work without it. Once you have a consistent combo with your character, you don't even have to think about that anymore. Strategy and decision making and studying stuff, you will always be working on all of those other things. And you can get real good before you realize that. It, it is harder to do to teach these abstract ideas, I think. The problem with basic strategy and stuff like that is that it is in flux. It, it changes all the time. And not only that, but like what your character want to do might change in different versions. So if the game gets updated, making that idea is kind of hard. It's difficult. You don't get into a fighting game thinking, I can't wait to go into training mode and ponder my fucking existence because... I just lost this matchup to this moron who plays this character in a dumb way. You're Ryan Hunter and you knock down Anji and you're like, no way Zidane can get away with mashing literally anything on Wake Up with his guard points, right? And then you lab it and you're like, you gotta be kidding me. You don't get into fighting games to think about all that. You get into fighting games because you're like, I can't wait to do that cool explosion. I agree, Ryan. I think it's like that in everything in life. The pilot thing, I want to fly around the world. That sounds fun. And then you spend a billion hours of flight practice and studying weather patterns and ground control and like all this shit. You got to figure out all this shit and you got to apply a bajillion places. By the time you make it to the pilot seat and you're ready to take off, you're like, I've seen so much. Do I get to fly now? Is this the part where I get to take off on the plane? Are we going somewhere? Where are we going? And they're like Daytona. You're like, fuck. You do all that studying and fighting games. You get real good. You load into the match. It's a bike. And you're just like, no. <laughs> Missed the Melty Blood talk. What did I say? Uh, Kimone broke through my window, drop kicked me, got on the mic and said, fuck all y'all PC using modding assholes. And then he did a Kung Fu flip out, out of my window and he battled the squirrels that I live in my backyard to the death. It was pretty hype. It was the Gears of War Kung Fu flip. He went into the wall and then he whoop, 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 up onto the roof. Who won? They're still fighting.